Hi friends, hope you are doing great. We are going to see the new series Google Cloud Platform 2025. Today we are going to see the Google BigQuery Store procedure. So we are going to see the concepts first, store procedure, what is a store procedure and we are going to see the benefits of by using the store procedure in the Google BigQuery and next we are going to create, how to create a store procedure in Google BigQuery. Then we are going to see how to call the store procedure. Then next we are going to delete all rows. And finally we are going to delete the store procedure. So that is what we are going to see. We are going to see uh, this demo today. Okay. Let's start with the uh, theory part. So what is a Google Big? What is a uh, store procedure in the Google BigQuery? A store procedure in BigQuery, it is a collection of SQL statements that can be executed as a single unit. They offer a powerful way to encapsulate complex logic, improve code reusability, and optimize query performance. Key benefits of using store procedure in BigQuery. So first is a modularity and reusability, which is breaking down complex tasks into smaller, manageable procedures. Then reuse these procedures across multiple queries and jobs. Next is improved performance. This is pre-compile and optimize SQL statements for faster execution. Then next is enhanced security. It is controlling access to sensitive data by granting permissions to specific procedures. Then finally, simplified development and maintenance. It is centralized complex logic in one place making it easier to understand, test and modify. In all, it, it is also reduce the risk of errors by avoiding repetitive code. Okay, so next is we are going to create a store procedure in the Google BigQuery. So this is the syntax for creating the procedure, data set name, then we need to specify the procedure name, next is a begin. And here, statements here, we need to specify the queries here and finally end. So, let's start this uh, demo. Okay, fine. So now, we are going to open the Google BigQuery part. So, you can see it, friends. Okay, fine. So now we are going to see the Google BigQuery. Okay, Google BigQuery store procedures. So this is my BigQuery console. BigQuery. Okay, GCP console. I am going to open the BigQuery. So this is my BigQuery. And here, see, you can see my project. So I am going to click my project. So here I am going to, first of all, I am going to create a data set. So I am going to do from scratch, friends. Uh, test data set. Okay, test data set. And I am going to create the de data set here okay now you can see data set has been created okay fine so now next thing is we need to create the table so this is my table i have uh, data in my excel sheet okay the customer id first name last name product amount so i have eight records okay i have eight records fine now next thing is i am going to click download here file i am going to download this excel excel sheet as a csv format comma separated values okay now you can see downloaded fine next thing is we have to create the table here just click three dots and click create table and here you need to select the csv file click upload and here you can select the file click browse select it here and open you can see the format as csv right so you can select the csv format here we need to we need to type so i am giving as a src table okay this is a source table and schema i am going to select auto direct so that the schema will be automatically generated friends so now you can click create right now so the table will be created right now okay so once created the table name you can query it also uh, we can see the details also that uh, it, it is created correctly or not 
so customer id it is integer type it has been auto uh, detected first name last name product assisting and amount is integer so we need to query means just click query in a new tab and uh, i'm going to close this unwanted so you can put select star from okay select star from table name then click run so you can see the records okay fine now now we have done with the source table now again we need to create one more table called target table so i'm going to create one more table called target table so here i am not going to touch anything here just going to here i am going to give us a target underscore table so here schema under the schema i am going to add a field here so just go to the sheet and copy the header just copy paste here customer id so customer id is a integer then next is first name copy and paste it then last name so you need to do like this and add a field enter product okay fine next is amount okay so amount amount as the integer okay so then we have done this one and we need to click create table now you can see friends the table is creating right now just give some time then next thing is we are going to create a store procedure so how to create a store procedure we are going to see and we are going to do that now only our uh, actual demo is starting okay so i am doing one by one so that's what uh, from scratch i am doing it friends okay sounds good so now uh, let me go to the slide here and uh, this is the procedure okay so this is the actual uh, syntax this actual syntax okay now to copy and put it here so that it will be good for me so here i am going to i am going to paste it here i am going to click expand this full screen now you can see it friends so you can see like uh, we need to type okay create create or replace okay then procedure then here we need to give our uh, so here this is a shift title symbol we need to press like a back quote okay back quote we need to give and project id so project id is my project id is this one sorry excuse me so project id and uh, then data set name so our data set name is this one okay so go to the details and uh, test data set okay test data set and dot then this is the name of the store procedure so i am giving as a whatever name we can give so i am giving so i am giving as a test procedure okay then we need to close the symbol one and here also close the brackets title symbol and shift uh, title symbol and close this open and brackets okay now begin then begin insert into then again our project id insert our project id test data set okay this is the one then next is we need to specify the destination table so destination table is a target table right 
target underscore table you can also check it friends just uh, duplicate this right we can duplicate this and we can check it also I'm sorry I'm having some cold I guess sneezing has been started cold and sneezing okay so target table let me check it friends okay so this is the name of the target table you can go and check it in details also so here you can copy this one okay whole we can copy or you can copy whole also okay I'm copying and I'm going to paste it also you can do this is a simple right so so that uh, we will not do any mistakes here or error then this part then enter select select star from then this is the source table okay so this is the source table so here we can see the source table so we are copying the data from the source table only so source table i am copying and i am going to paste it here friends title symbol paste it title symbol okay. and finally we will be end so here also click semicolon so I am going to explain it. So we need to give the keyword create or replace procedure. So this is our project ID, data set ID. This is the procedure name, whatever name we can specify it. And begin insert into this is the project ID, this is the data set name. Then this is the target table. Okay. This is a target table we need to specify it. Then select star from this is the project ID, then data set name, this is a source table. So we are going to copy the data from the source to target so that is what we are going to do it friends so now i'm going to edit this i'm going to run this query let's see the results now you can see create or replace has been done okay you can see the query here view results also you can see this the statements created a new procedure named okay Okay, now you can verify it here also, friends. Just click uh, uh, refresh here and you can see it also. So that uh, uh, it, it, the store procedure set will be created, friends. Okay. The routing, store procedure routing, it will be created under the test data set. Okay. Now you can also check it also under this test procedure. You can see whatever the query you have given the routing query it has been created okay sounds good so next thing is uh, we need to we need to call the so store procedure so how to call the store procedures okay so once created the store procedures we didn't uh, you can see the data it was not loaded okay the data it will not be loaded under the preview also you can see the data there is no data to display after calling the store procedure only the data will be loaded friends so just click call procedure name i am going to put this call procedure name here and you can see the data set name so data set name is this one and procedure name is this one test procedure so now we need to run this query okay so now we are going to run this query so you can see friends your cells okay you can see this statements added eight rows to the target table now the rows has been added to the target table now you can verify it friends now you just click refresh now you can see the tables yeah sounds good friends we have successfully completed the demo okay now next thing is now next thing is we are going to delete the rows how to delete uh, these rows okay so how to delete these rows so once again if i am uh, going to call this also again eight more rows it will be created okay now you can see the job status success now eight rows has been added again 
duplicate rows it will be now so i hope you got a uh, idea how we will be creating the store procedures friends now i am going to delete how to delete uh, these rows okay so how to delete uh, these rows or uh, records so that is what uh, we are going to do okay so you can see uh, this is my project id so you need to specify your project id okay then data set name so data set name as a test data set and uh, table name so table name target only right we are going to delete the target table so target table where condition true that's it so now i am going to run this it will be deleted the statements you can see 16 rows deleted now there is no data to display just click refresh under the target table so there is no data to display friends okay sounds good so mm -hmm. next is how to delete the store procedure so how to delete the store procedure so that is uh, keyword we need to use a uh, drop procedure so before uh, moving to that i am going to uh, show this one okay the test procedures we already created it right begin this is the one okay now we are going to delete this how to delete okay so we are going to see drop procedure then project id then data set name then name of the procedure name of our procedure is this one test procedure right so this one now run this query drop procedure project id data set name and procedure name so this statement deleted the procedure now you can uh, go and check it refresh it the procedure will be gone you can see friends not found it has been shown so that is what the thing so you can also try it friends from your end and uh, next thing what we are going to see uh, means we are going to see the scheduled query so we are going to do some automation also so like uh, whenever uh, uh, for example this call store procedure it should come like every two hours it should run automatically okay so we should not do it uh, manually so we are going to do some automation so how to do that so if you know please comment okay in the comment section you, you can also put it friends and we are going to see uh, in our next uh, session thank you so much thanks for watching thanks a lot bye bye